Hey, 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 what's going on, my math party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. And as always, we got some fun word problems for you. So this problem is gonna be about proportions. So get ready to learn a little bit more about proportions and a nice little trick and idea to help you really make that progress that you wanna make with proportions here. So with that said, as always, how do we handle word problems? If this is your first video, this is how you do it. Start with the question. What do you want, okay? Because the thing is, when it comes to word problems, you want the goal of the problem so that way you can see what information is useful so you can take action and make a connection. If you start just reading information without knowing why that information is useful, it gets pretty boring pretty fast. I can be very honest about that. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're aimlessly reading, it's not gonna be fun. So if you know why you're reading and what you're looking for, well then yeah, things get a little more fun and a little more interesting. So the first thing you wanna do is again, start with the question. The who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following, all of that. So right here is your attention. How many females are there if 65 males are present? So you actually don't even need to highlight the 65 males. It's just how many females are there? That's the question. Because the if, this right here, that's just giving you extra information. So again, what we want is the number of females. So we want blank females and the 65 males, again, that's extra information that you're gonna highlight. You know, you're gonna go ahead and, and understand that you have to write that down and it's connected to the number of females because they clearly say, hey, how many females? If this is the condition, if this many males. So that's connected together. You wanna write those down together. So blank females with 65 males. Have that written down. And so what you're gonna do now is, now that we know the goal, we wanna know the number of females, now we're gonna look at the information that can help clue us in in terms of how we can get there. And so, when we take a look at the problem, here's what we're gonna highlight. We see that at a local YMCA, there are 35 males for every 49 females. Now, this problem is trying to trick you. This problem is definitely trying to trick you, and here's why. Here's the main idea that I want you to take a second, write this down on your paper. Write this down about proportions. The main idea about proportions, the main idea is that you need to compare the same things in the same way. So compare the same things in the same way. In the same way way this has to be done if you follow this main idea with proportions you'll never fail you really won't and even if you do get a problem incorrect you can use that idea to understand why you got it wrong here's what i'm getting at if you go ahead and write this down exactly as you see it and you go ahead and write it down like this hey 35 males here's the information you know, here's the information we have if i just go ahead and say hey we got 35 males uh, for every, you can say with, doesn't matter, but then you have 49 females, here's the problem. You're not comparing the same things in the same way. Yeah, you're comparing the same things. You have females and males, but over here in the second line where you have males to females, very easy to overlook that, very easy, right? And so because it's so easy to overlook that, you have to pay attention. This is not correct. You need to make sure you line up the same things and compare them the same way. So the 49 females, that's gonna go over here and then males over there. Because now you have females compared to males, females compared to males. On top and on bottom, you have the same things, males and females being compared in the same way. That's what that means. Because once you realize that you're comparing the same things in the same way, oh, this is a proportion problem. This is a proportion problem. And so what we'll do is we'll set up our proportion, solve this bad boy, and we're good. So before I set up the problem, my party people, I did want to remind you that if you weren't aware, I host a free class once a week, every week on Zoom and live on YouTube, once a week on Mondays at 6 p.m. So if you didn't know that, all you need to do is go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to go to the website and on the main website, duranlearning.com, again, duranlearning.com, all you have to do 
is go ahead and see right here, there's my program, but I want you to focus right here on the free practice test and the free class. You can just click the free practice test and video solutions and when you register, you know, you'll be able to go ahead and click right there to register, make an account, then finish signing in. And this is automatically gonna give you everything. My free practice test with those video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. And on top of that, it's also gonna give you the automatic access to a free class once a week. I go ahead and email and text you two hours before class starts. So when you register, make sure to put your information correctly. That way I can send you the information, everything you need, and we can have a lot of fun and raising your score. Again, this is totally free, so why wait? Go ahead, if you haven't done so already, sign up for my free practice test, video solutions, and free weekly class. That way you can put yourself in the best position to succeed. I don't want you going to MEPS unprepared, so go ahead and take advantage of the free resource now. All right, so with that said, my party people, let's go ahead and finish this setup and solve this problem. So here's how you're gonna do it. I'm gonna say we have F females. I'll just write that in red here, F females. And what I'll do is I'll set it up. F females over 65 males equals, again, F females, 65 males. So that's one comparison. And on the right side, you're gonna set up 49 females right here over 35 males right there. Again, compare the same things in the same way. As long as you're doing that with proportions, you're doing it right. So F females, males, females, males, we're all set. And now all we have to do is solve this proportion and we're done. Now, this is where I'm going to show you some nice mental math tricks. So pay attention. If you look at this, you might recognize this as, oh, I got to cross multiply and divide, right? You might recognize this as, oh, I got to multiply those and those. But let's be real here. Who in their right mind wants to multiply 49 times 65 by hand? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. You shouldn't either. And you don't have to. The point of the ASVAB is seeing not just how many questions you can get correct, but how quickly you can get it done. You want to be able to spend less time on stuff like this to give yourself more time on the harder problems. So here's a nice trick when it comes to proportions. Before you solve a proportion, the best thing you can do is actually going to be to simplify the fractions, simplify the equation. So here's what you can do. I'm going to go ahead and notice that before I do my multiplication, my cross multiplication, I'm going to notice that this right here, I can simplify that. I can absolutely simplify that. 49 and 35, what are they both divisible by? They're both divisible by 7. 49 is divisible by 7. 35 is divisible by 7. Simplify first before you give yourself these crazy big numbers to torture yourself with. So here, bam, divide by 7, divide by 7. And what you're going to have here is, I'm going to write this up here. So the F over 65 is still there. But then 49 divided by 7 is 7. 35 divided by 7 is 5. So look at that. You've given yourself a much, much, much easier uh, set of calculations because now you don't have to multiply 65 times 49, but instead 65 times 7. That might be a little easier. And then when you divide, notice how you're not going to be dividing by 35 anymore. You'd be dividing by just 5. A lot easier. And it actually gets even crazier because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the solution here. But stay tuned because I'm going to show you an even better mental math trick to get something like this done without even calculating by hand. So look, watch this. 65 times 7, I still have to do that, right? I still have to do 65 times 7. 5 times 7, that's going to be 35. 6 times 7, that's going to be 42. Add the 3, that's 45. So you're going to have yourself 5 times F equals 455. And then you still have to divide both sides by five to figure out what that is, right? And so thankfully, you know, if you know your mental math, you know that that's going to be 91. But if you didn't, that's okay. Because that's going to be five into 455. Five goes into 45 nine times. Subtract the clean 45. Bring the five down. And that's going to be one. So you can see that the number of females would be 91. But let me show you that better mental math trick. Watch this. Let's go right back to this part right here. 
Let's go back to that right there. Let me move this out of the way. And I'm going to really show you some awesome mental math because we're here and we can still keep simplifying. Actually, remember that a proportion is an equation. There's an equal sign right there, right? That's an equal sign. Yeah, I'm not blind. That's an equal sign. And so what does that mean? Well, that means that we're dealing with an equation and whatever you do to one side, you can do to the other. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, you're good. So what that means, my party people, is, hey, if I look at this denominator and this denominator, isn't it true that 65 and 5, we can divide them both by 5? I can divide both denominators by 5. I can simplify even further to give myself a much easier time. So if I divide both by 5, look at what happens. Look at how much easier this gets. We'll have f over, you should know 65 divided by 5, that's 13. Because 60 divided by 5 is 12, 65 is just one more 5. So that's 13. And then you have the 7, and then the 5 divided by 5 is 1. Boom! And so now, when you do your cross multiplication, look at how much easier it is. f times 1 is f. 13 times 7, what's that? Well, that's 70 plus 21, which is 91. Boom. So you have 91 females and you can get that done. Look at how much easier that was. We went from here to here to here to there. All of that was mental. All of that was mental versus doing all of this by hand. And that's the idea I'm trying to show you my party people. I want you to have every advantage you can when it comes to taking this test. So hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, please go ahead and comment in this video. I would love to know how you did with this video, how you're doing so far with the ASVAB. And if you're in my program, shout out the program. Shout out how you've been using it because at the end of the day, this is the main tool that my students use to raise their scores and get the jobs they want. So with that said, you can check all of the information out with that and a quick two minute video on how it works in the description here. So click that to find out. But with that said, reminders, free classes every Monday. Go ahead and join. I want to see you succeed. Let's get it done, my ASVAB party people, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.